This is a video on how you would use the FET Forces and Motion Basics simulation to do uh, a lab looking at the effect of the sum of forces on the acceleration of an object. When you open the simulation, it looks like this, but then I, uh, you should click on the Acceleration Lab tab up here. You can uh, use any one of these objects that you want. For example, we could choose this uh, crate here. And once you've selected your object, go ahead and select all of these boxes so you can see all this stuff. Um, you'll notice if you apply a force that is like F person on crate, um, this applied force, the orange arrow, increases. I noticed there's also uh, an interaction between the floor and the crate pointing to the left that they're calling the friction force. Um, and then above both of these, there's a green arrow um, that changes depending on the situation uh, that's labeled the sum of forces. Now, the sum of forces is what we're calling sigma F, uh, that kind of like funny E symbol, F. Um, but you can actually make a measurement using this green arrow here of the sum of forces. Once you've done that, your goal is to basically use this as a value for your independent variable of sum of forces and then take a reading for your acceleration off of this acceleration meter. Now, this acceleration meter is pretty hard to read. Um, it goes up to 20 here, so this number would be 10, and halfway in between it would be like 5, so maybe this might be 4 or so, maybe 3.5, it's hard to tell. So there's going to be some uncertainty in your, in your reading there. But that's okay, we want to get an approximate value. But in this case, I can see that I could record a data point as sum of forces equals 210 newtons, and the acceleration is, oh, about 4 meters per second squared. Um, we could then take another point um, by maybe having this guy push a little harder, um, make sure that the simulation is playing, and then I could read this as, oh... I don't know, maybe seven or seven and a half. Like I said, it's hard to tell. Um, you may find it helpful to pause the simulation like I just did, um, because if this thing gets going too fast, um, then the guy will fall down. Um, and the cart, you notice, will start accelerating in the opposite direction. We could use this as another value um, for uh, the sum of forces in the acceleration, I noticed that this says 125 newtons pointed in the opposite direction. So I'd want to record this as a negative value. This acceleration looks like it might be, mm, I don't know, two and a half or, or something like that. Remember, halfway th between zero and ten is five. So this looks like it might be halfway between zero and that point. So maybe two or three or two and a half. It's kind of up to you, but you can go ahead and play with whatever you want and change whatever you want as long as you're looking at the uh, an independent variable of the sum of forces and, an, and a dependent variable of the acceleration. Then you want to collect like five of those values and put them on a graph um, using Logger Pro and then you're basically done. Um, hope this helps.